The diagram shows magnetic field lines around a magnet. These field lines always point from north to south. In this video we're going to move on from magnets to look at something called electromagnets. When a current is flowing through a wire, a magnetic field is produced. So we've got a wire here. Let's say the current was going upwards in that wire. It would produce a magnetic field around the wire, which would go in circles, with the arrows there showing the direction of the magnetic field. Rather than having a straight piece of wire, if you have a coil of wire, when current flows through a coil of wire, the magnetic field looks very similar to that of a bar magnet. So here we've got a coil of wire with six turns on the wire and it produces a magnetic field that looks very similar to a bar magnet. This is an electromagnet. So what I haven't shown in the diagram is the fact that the two ends of the coil of wire would be connected to a power supply. And we can split the word electromagnet into its two parts. Electro for the electricity part and magnet for the magnetism. When the current is flowing through the wire and the power supply is turned on, a magnetic field will be generated. When an electromagnet is switched off, it loses its magnetism. So how can you increase the strength of an electromagnet? The first thing you can do is increase the number of turns on the coil of wire. So you can see at the moment we have six turns on the coil of wire. If we were to increase the number of turns, we would be increasing the strength of the electromagnet. The second thing that you can do is increase the current flowing through the wire. And to do that, you can increase the potential difference of your power supply. So there'll often be a dial on your power supply. If you increase the potential difference, then you will increase also the current that is flowing through the wire. The third thing that you can do is add an iron core. So in the image you can see inside the coils of wire we've now placed a solid iron core and that increases the strength of the electromagnet. You can do an experiment to investigate how the number of turns on the coil of wire affects the strength of an electromagnet. So in the images we have one electromagnet with four turns and one electromagnet with ten turns. In your investigation, you'd probably want to use around five different electromagnets with different number of turns. But I've just put two just to give you the idea. So our independent variable would be the number of turns on the coil of wire. Our dependent variable is going to be the number of nails picked up. Or it could be something like the number of paper clips picked up. The control variables, it's important to keep the same potential difference because that will affect the current flowing through the wire and therefore the strength of the electromagnet and the same core. So I'm going to use an iron core every time. What you need to do is connect your electromagnets to a power supply and record the number of nails or paper clips that your electromagnet picks up. So four turns on the electromagnet picks up just two nails. Whereas 10 turns on the electromagnet picks up five nails and you would record your results in a table. This is what we'd expect. As we said before that if you increase the number of turns on the coil of wire you will increase the strength of the electromagnet. When an electromagnet is switched off it loses its magnetism. This makes electromagnets really useful for picking up magnetic objects and dropping them somewhere else. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.